YouTube. Today we are doing some pork, shredded pork in the Instant Pot. Um, so this would be pulled pork, shredded pork, whatever you want to call it. Um, now this is also going to be paleo, but uh, you can make it non-paleo as well. So I'm going to start with some ghee in my vessel here. And we're going to start browning this off. Now, my pork roast is two pounds, and it um, is frozen, completely frozen. Take it out of here. It might splatter a little bit if you're using frozen, because we've got water on there. And I'm just going to cut up an onion. You're going to be looking for about three minutes per side for your for this part, um, which is just going to brown it, give it a good sear. Um, I am adding an onion. If you don't want onion, you don't have to. Uh, you can add garlic too if you like. I'm just going to use some garlic powder. I'm going to keep the actual cooking stage fairly simple uh, because I'm going to flavor it mostly when it's shredded up. And I'm just going to do slices. Nothing fancy. All right, I will uh, bring you back when uh, we're three minutes on each side for the roast. Okay, so that's all you're looking for. Just a little bit of brown on the outside. Uh, start that caramelization because we are going to just throw this together and turn it on. Okay, so we're just going to add an onion, or I'm adding an onion. I'm going to put a little bit of pepper. A little bit of garlic powder probably a tablespoon mm, half a tablespoon and some pink Himalayan salt and two cups of chicken stock you can use water vegetable stock whatever you like but uh, or whatever you have on hand okay so we're just going to put that in there we're going to put the lid on shut your vent and you're going to start this for or cancel it in manual for 120 minutes um that should get the frozen and make this pull apart tender and I will bring you back when that is completed. So you're just gonna leave that now for 120 minutes. Okay, so it's been 120 minutes and you should get at least a 10 minute no pressure release. After that, you should be good. Uh, blah, blah. <clears throat> okay, so I'll just show you what this looks like. Yum, yum. So we're just gonna shred that up with two forks. So you literally just take two forks and shred that up. Now if you have a large amount of fat, which I think mine does, you might wanna take that out. Now if there's a little bit, you'll be fine. And that's all you do, you just shred that up until it has the consistency of shredded chicken, shredded, just shredded pork. Now, if you don't want as much juice in there, you can drain it as well. You're gonna wanna season this however you want. You could make pulled pork with this, so um, put some barbecue, uh, drain it and put some barbecue sauce in there and you have pulled pork. 
for sandwiches or whatever. If you want to put this on a lettuce wrap or on top of a salad, you could put taco seasoning, anything you like. Have a good day.